Hello, how are you today? I just wanted to say thank you for everybody for all of the love on my last video. Today I wanted to start a conversation about dreams. I have a beautiful hot chocolate that I made. Mm. Mm. With almond milk and then I am into that. I wanted to talk about dreams. I think it's a very interesting uh, topic of conversation and I feel like most people, when you ask them about dreams, they have a couple of dreams that they remember having um, back to back or a couple of times frequently throughout their childhood. So I got talking with a friend of mine the other day and I was like, yeah, like I had this one dream that's so weird. Like when I explain it to people out loud, it doesn't sound weird at all. Sorry, I have this one bracelet that's just gonna piss me off. The jingling of the tringling. But yeah, he was really into dreams and he was asking me about like what weird dreams I've had or whatever. And I remember being a kid and having this one dream multiple times and I would tell people and people would just kind of laugh at me because it doesn't sound scary at all. But in my dream, it was like the scariest thing I've ever felt. But yeah, so basically I just wanted to share my dream with you and then I wanted you guys to share your dreams with me down below. It was cool because he interpreted my dream and for some reason I didn't really put it together before but when we were talking about it I was like oh my god that's so crazy. So I want you guys to take a second and think about the dreams that you've had and the nightmares and like whatever and um, go through them. Ones that you've had periodically that you can like that are deeply embedded into your mind that you can remember. Think about it. Maybe it has like some deeper meaning. I don't know. So anyways, when I was little, I had nightmares every night. Like I would wake up in the middle of the night and I would run to my mom's bed and crawl into bed with her and sleep with her because I would wake up every night with a nightmare. And it wasn't just like, oh, like scary. Like I would be screaming, like waking up. Like my mom always slept with a fan. And I think, I don't know if it was the house creaking or if I could hear things outside or I don't know what it was, but I don't know. Anyways, I always just slept with my mom. So that was me until I was like, I don't even know, like eight years old. I had this one dream where I could, I can vividly remember my mom and my dad split up when I was about four. And I remember being at my dad's apartment, but my mom was there and we were having like this party and there was a bunch of people at the apartment. And I remember I wasn't, I didn't really have a lot of pop when I was a kid, but I remember grabbing a pop from the fridge and I always reached for the pink pop. Even though pink's not my favorite pop, I always as a kid like liked the pink one. Um, and I remember going up to my mom and my mom was like turned behind me. And I remember tapping her on the shoulder and I was like, mom, can you open the pot for me? My mom turns around and she's like, I'm not your mother, but you can come with me. <laughs> and it sounds so stupid, but then that's the end of the dream. Like it was so scary, but like, that's the most vivid one I've ever had. Sometimes like we were in a car and it was always like my mom's face just changing to somebody else's face that like I didn't recognize. And not even that it was like a scary like demon looking face, but just that it just wasn't my mom. And she's like, I'm not your mom, but you can come with me. And I'm like, no, thank you. <laughs> but my friend was like, wow, like that's very interesting. And I'm like, what do you mean? So my friend was like, well, you said it yourself that you grabbed the pink can of pop. I was like, yeah. And he's like, but you couldn't open it yourself. And I'm like, okay. And then he's like, then you went to your mom to ask your mom for help, but then your mom wasn't your mom, so she couldn't help you. I was like, that's so weird. So essentially, my friend was saying subconsciously, um, the pink can of pop represented like my transness and being like a young boy, just wanting to be a girl and being trapped. I would grab this pink can of pop and I'd be trying like desperately to open this can of pop and I couldn't open the can so I would run to my mom and I'd be like mom and then all of a sudden like it wasn't my mom that could help me it's like I, d I couldn't recognize this person and thinking about it now wow this is getting really deep but thinking about it now um my mom was very kind of standoffish about everything feminine like for instance the radio would be on and she'd be like flipping through the radio and she'd be like oh not that song and it would be like Britney Spears or something she would purposely like turn things off that were like 
feminine or like subconsciously it's not like she was trying to like keep me from like being myself but like it's not like she was trying to help me you know that's so weird that's so crazy to think about i was trying to just be me i was trying to open up this girly bubbly part of mine and i was like mom help me like you're the only one that can help me and my mom's like i'm not your mom wow oh well, that's emotional isn't it <laughs> this is gonna be a short video So yeah, it was kind of cool because I had that dream so many times and I never really thought about it too much and I never really put it together. I remember telling people, but I wouldn't specifically tell them about the, the pink can of pop. And for whatever reason, when I was telling my friend, I was like, yeah, I'm like, it's funny because I'd always grab the pink can and I would drink the pink pop. Like I would drink cream soda, but I was never a fan of cream soda. I don't know. I only grabbed the pink one because it was like, I like. I knew it didn't matter like I wanted the pink one because it's a girl color and I wasn't gonna get judged for it you know even though I didn't like it so yeah let me know if you guys have had any revealing dreams down in the comments down below follow me on Instagram and let me know what other topics that you would like me to talk about and um, I will see you in the next video I hope you enjoyed this short quick little thought Get yourself a hot chocolate and have a good night.